Hey, this is Donnie Smith, and I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Does That Really Work Auto Show. And what we do is uh, test, uh, you know, things you hear on the internet or products to see if they really work or not. And been asked a lot about dry ice. And uh, I've done a different video where we use compressed air. Uh, that didn't work well for us, but we'll check out the dry ice. I've never tried that either. You know, I've worked around dents a long time, but never tried those two. And, you know, you hear a lot about those two methods. But anyway, today we are going to, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a hell dent right here that we're going to work on. And I want to thank you for, uh, you know, your feedback and comments in the last episodes. And basically what I heard is we just want to get to the point. We don't really want the, uh, you know, the facts or the tips that I was given. So that's what we're going to do. We're cutting all that out and straight to the point. So let's get started. Uh, the dent is right here. And I don't know if you can see this on video, but it is a hell dent. And that's what the... Uh, a lot of the questions if dry ice can fix hell damage. Now we hear it different ways. I've done some research on YouTube and like everything I found some that uh, showed it worked and showed it didn't so you know I don't know. We'll test it and see. Uh, some of them claim to use a hair dryer get it really hot even though it's you know it's over 100 today this metal you know it's hot to touch so it's pretty hot uh, and some didn't so we'll, do, we'll try it both ways to see. First we'll just put some dry ice on this and uh, see if that does anything. To, and this is a, just a small hell dent. And I've got a piece of dry ice, and I'm just going to put this on the dent. And uh, you don't want to touch it with your bare hand. So I'm using a cloth. So I'm just going to place it on there. I said to put it just on the center, you know, center area of the dent. I'm just going to let it sit there. Put more of the tip just in the center part of it. Can't really tell till the metal unfreezes there. sit there. That spot's pretty froze up. Now tell me what we'll do while we're letting that thaw out. Uh, we'll go ahead. There's a little bit bigger dent here. We'll hit it too while we're doing it. One of the videos said to kind of work it around the dent and then towards the center. We'll do that a little bit. Don't see it do anything to that one. Well, you can see this one again. Uh, freeze marks left and the dent's still there. Let's hit it again. Really didn't think this would work, but I couldn't honestly say that because I've never seen it done or tried it myself. So, thought I'd share it with you, whether it does or not. And it makes no difference to me if it does or not. Now I do know a method by using heat, like a uh, oxyacetylene torch, you can work it around the dent and it'll raise the dent up. But that is not, uh, you know, you're going to have to repaint if you use that method. Because it's going to burn the paint off, obviously. Well, that didn't work. We'll try the, the other thing that we hear about, and that's using a hair dryer.
That may have got a little harder. Uh, smoking pretty fast. I'll just hold that on there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but that one is still there. Let's heat this one up. Okay, well saying that it works on a hot day, that didn't work for me. And uh, using the hair dryer didn't work. So as far as hail damage, you know, it doesn't doesn't seem to work too well. Okay, so we tried a small hail damage because that's the, the question, you know, can I repair hail damage with dry ice? You know, if I put dry ice on a, on a hot day, that did not work. Uh, a little bit bigger dent, that's bigger than a hail damage dent. It didn't work on that one for me. So uh, neither one of these worked. Then we used a hair dryer just to heat the metal up a little bit hotter, then applied the dry ice straight to it. Uh, straight to the surface and didn't really have an effect on either one of the dents so uh, this method does not work for me. For certain dents it may work you know if the circumstances are just right or it's a, a big shallow dent but probably for most of your door dings, dents and uh, most of the dents you're going to get uh, it's not going to work. That wraps up this episode. Now even though this didn't work seen some other videos while I was search, researching this on YouTube about dry ice and we'll show you one of them in the next video. Talk to you soon.